Yesersky. <laughs> it's your boy Twan the Don, and I'm back with another Jag Weezy. Be easy for the ladies and the geezies. Let this seat up real quick. <laughs> now, today we are talking about Kayla Von Chason, okay? And for the record, I was huge on Kayla Von. I actually was one of the guys who was hype about him. I thought he looked pro ready, to be honest. The most pro ready at, out of coming out. I thought he was going to be, he was an underrated pick for us when we drafted him. But, huh, let's start with that tea time for me time. And a moment of silence for the people that are doing down bad right now. Heard a lot about a lot of people losing some loved ones today. So, it's a bad day for a lot of people. <laughs> now, I told you what we're talking about. So, without further ado, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. Now, look. Kayla Von Chason. First, I want to just tell you guys, we drafted Trayvon Walker because Kayla Von has been a huge disappointment. So, what I wanted to do was, first off, I wanted to go and give you a comparison of their high school recruiting and their college stats to show you we kind of got the same guy, but the, one of them has more potential, okay? And clearly a higher ceiling. So, peep game. Caleb Von Chason was ranked, had an 86 scouting, scouting grade, right? Coming out of high school. And he was the 34th at his position. Trayvon had an 85 scouting grade and was the 46th at his position. Okay? Now... Kayla Von Chason, right, in college had 92 total tackles, 46 solo, 46 assisted, two for, uh, one forced fumble, right? Now, Trayvon had 61 total uh, tackles, 32 solo, 29 assisted. They both had nine and a half sacks, but Trayvon had one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, and an interception, okay? And they both played... 20 or more games. I want to say Kayla Vaughn played 24. And I want to say Trayvon maybe played 29 or 30, 31, somewhere around there. So, look. Now I want to do this. I'm going to read off the stats and tell you guys one thing about Kayla Vaughn, right? Potential is the huge thing. And if he does succeed this year, it is only because of the personnel around him, which I mean is the players, and the, the staff, the coaching that. Sean Khan, Sean Khan has hired huh, the Super Bowl coaching staff that I talked about. Peep the old the old videos. So look, his rookie year he played 16 games. He had 19 total tackles, 12 solo, seven assisted. He played 16 games. Okay, in 2021 last year he played 15 games. He had 31 total tackles, 20 20 solo, 11 assisted, and one sack. He had one sack each year. Right now look, he played 15 games. Yeah, he improved, but I want to show you something. Listen to this. I decided to do, I didn't know him. I didn't know nothing about it. I just went to the next uh, linebacker that came out the draft. He was drafted as a DE, but we played him kind of as a linebacker slash DE. So I went to the very next one. It was like three or four picks later, something like that, maybe more. And his name was Kenneth Murray, right? For the Los Angeles clip, uh, Los Angeles, uh, what do they call it? My bad. I'm drawing a blank. Anyways. For Los Angeles, okay? So look, Kenneth Murray, the Chargers, my bad. So in 2020, he played 16 games, just like Caleb on Chase on. He had 107 total tackles, okay? 68 solo, th 39 assisted in one sack. Let me read Caleb Vaughn's. He played 16 games as well. He had 19 total tackles, 12 solo, 7 assisted, okay? Now in 2021, Kayla Vaughn played 15 games, okay? Kenneth Murray played 11. Kayla Vaughn had 31 total tackles, 20 solo, 11 assisted. Kenneth Murray played 11 games, had 31 total tackles, 17 solo, 14 assisted, right? And he only started six of those games, by the way. Kenneth Murray. Now, Kayla Vaughn only started three his rookie year, granted, in 8 and 2021, 20, but I'm just saying, okay? This shows you that we got an inferior, like something, something just, you know, those players that something happens to them and they forget how to play. They forget that they were once the best. 
I think that's what's happening to him and he has to get out of that. Okay. Now look, a lot of us, including me, is counting him out, but I still have faith because he is on the Jaguars roster. You know, I'm a rock with who on our team. And look, if he does break out, like I said, these are some notes I wrote down. I already said this. If he breaks out, the reason is because of the players and defense, the defense around him gives him the chance of playing free and playing, playing like himself again. Okay. And he has to try and find a way. I think this is vital to any player that's the fan base is losing trust in them and faith in them. He has to find a way to ignite the fans. And that's by forcing fumbles, making big hits. Okay. Getting more tackles for loss. Like, come on. If we, and, and I'm going to be honest. And y'all let me, let me sit the T. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> My brother had COVID too. You know, he doing good now. But hey, <laughs> now look. My bold prediction, or everybody knows this is true. If we don't see any promise by Caleb Vaughn by week six, I promise you he's on a trade. He's They're calling for trades after the game week six, and he'll be gone by week eight, which is the trade deadline. It's simple as that. And I want to ask you guys a question. I want to know you're over or under, okay? Caleb Vaughn Chase on played 16 games his rookie year, had 19 total tackles, 12 solo, 7 assisted, and 1 sack. Over or under on Trayvon on all those? 19 total tackles, 12 solo tackles, 7 assisted. Caleb, uh, Trayvon Walker, over or under on all those in one sack? Me, I'm saying he's going to look more like uh, it's not going to be Kenneth Murray's rookie year with 107 total tackles, but can we get like 60 tackles? Can we get If we get 50 tackles out of, out of Trayvon, we got the same amount of tackles Caleb Vaughn gave us for Two years. His career numbers, Caleb on 31 games, 50 total tackles, 32 solo, 18 assisted. Two sacks. He has two more sacks than my daughter's lunch lady. You feel me? He has two more sacks than my daughter's lunch lady. <laughs> he has two more sacks than my mama. You know what I'm saying? Dang. I'm sure my mama could get us two one sack a year. You know what I'm saying? On the right play against the right person. Some. Now look. If we do trade him, what do we trade for? I say we trade him in preseason and we get a promising safety. Somebody that's uh I take that back. You want me to tell you what I think? We trade him for a tackle we need or a guard, you know, or center, depending on what they want to do with Luke Fortner. If they find a center that they like, then move Fortner to the guard. He played it before. You know, and uh, I think we should, like I said before, this is just a little random tidbit. We should move uh, Monteric Brown to the safety position. He's a hitter. He likes to get that ball. Ed Reed is kind of player, you know, but um, Caleb on chase on. What do y'all think? What are y'all opinions on him? You know, it looks like we wasted a pick again. You know, that's what it looks like. Feel like we could have traded Caleb on to um Dallas for Amari Cooper. They would have accepted it with a, with a third rounder or a second rounder. They would have said, "Heck yeah, here you go." <laughs> and you know me, I'm not gonna ask y'all to like the video. I'm not gonna ask y'all to subscribe to my channel. Though I do appreciate all the subscriptions, y'all. That a, hey, I love that. That makes me feel good. You know, it makes me feel good for real. Because I really don't. I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't care about that because I do, but I'm really not in this for the subscriptions. I'm in this to talk to to sports people. And also, can we get some ladies around here? Can y'all get some sports ladies and tell them check him out cuz I have zero ladies that watch me. I looked at my numbers, okay? Can we get one? You know what I'm saying? Can we get a 0.0001% women watch you? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm not going to ask you to like the video. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to my channel, though it is nice. But what I am going to ask you is to comment in this in this on this video. Let me know if you rock with these videos. If you rocking with how I'm giving these Jaguar content. Do you rock with the Jaguars? Huh? Let me know what you want me to do a video on. You know what I'm saying? I've been waiting to do this video on Caleb on because last year I was so big on him. When I seen him in OTAs and stuff, I was like, your boy done got darn, darn, bruh. But he ain't do nothing. He ain't do nothing. Huh. And I leave y'all the same way every day. Hey, with the... Oh, yay.
Oh, yeah.